I think the whole idea of the Fashion Film Festival is that I don't want it just to be for fashion people. So I want it to have a, a broader appeal. Anybody interested in creativity, basically, creative mapping. <laughs>
because I absolutely love her. You know, I like strong women that are kind of pioneers in what they do, and they, they're just originals. So Orlan is someone whose work I've really admired and as a human being for a long time. And she's also someone that's had a, a huge influence on people like Lady Gaga, for instance. If you look at the Orlan and all of the body of her work, I mean, she's the original. And then Claude Montana today, you know, I was a designer myself for 13 years and I didn't really look at other people's work much because I think you have to just have tunnel vision. But I, of course, knew who he was and I really admired it. I asked three people to choose five films. For him, just five iconic fashion moments in film. And his favorite was Auntie Mame, which was made, I think, in 1958. Goten Project, because he's one of the first people I ever met. And I asked him to pick out like the best um, fashion moments in music videos, five of them. And he has great ones. And then I asked um, Glenn Adamson from the Victoria and Albert Museum to pick out five best fashion moments in video art. So, and also I asked Now Fashion to pick out the best five fashion moments in As of All Five. Dominique Isserman is another one uh, that I asked on this edition because I love her work and I've known it for years. And she just did these films like Eight Moments, uh, Leonard Cohen, absolutely beautifully filmed with an iPhone. And we projected it on the big screen and it looked perfect. Stephanie Guinness, yes. Daphne Guinness was with us again last year, and it's really through the director, jo Joseph Lally, who she produces his films, and she stars in them, and they really collaborate, they're very tight. And I actually never met him, I only know his work, and he doesn't like to take airplanes. So like last year, and he's based in New York, so last year he said to me, uh, could I have Daphne Guinness um, present my film because he doesn't want to get on a plane. And that's how I met Daphne. It's interesting, like the winner of the festival, Jessica, for the grand prize, is Jessica Mitroni, and she um, is from Colombia, but she lives in New York, and she had a film in my festival, A Jude de Pomme, 2008, was a really very conceptual film with um, two feet in one shoe. She did a whole series of, like a Mary Jane shoe, but there were two feet and only one shoe. Um, and she submitted a film over the past couple years and none got accepted. But when this one came in, Head Pieces for Peace, I just loved it, but it was six minutes and a half. So I told her, you know, I really love your film. The way it is, I can put it in out of competition, but I really love it in competition. I had no idea it was gonna win the grand prize. I just knew I really liked it because it works on so many levels. It works on, uh, you know, religious politics, just human nature, just, um, it's got a sense of humor. And I'm really happy that that's the film that gets shown in MK2 because we want to enlarge the audience to just people that like film, you know? It's, you don't have to be a fashion person to come to Asphalt. And I don't want people to think it's that niche. Of course, there's a slant to it, you know, but it's anybody that wears clothes and watches films.